Hi, I'm Nino, and it's taken me a long time to admit this. I've never said it out loud. I've never told anyone. I didn't know how they would react. But I think it's time that I let everybody know. This is hard, but I'm an iographer. I said it. Yep, me, an iographer. Bottom line up front, get this thing. Worth the money. You'll get great video. It'll be stabilized and it's compact and easy for carry. So hey, what's going on everyone? I'm doing another review and today I'm bringing you the iographer. So um, I got my kit through Best Buy, it was $99. And in that you get the iographer case itself, the um, two times telephoto lens and a combo lens that is a wide angle and, tel and uh, macro, sorry. So you, so loud, unscrew to uh, get your macro on or leave it all together and uh, you have your wide angle. So uh, what do I like about this? One, it's, uh, it's a very slim profile uh, without the lens obviously and uh, it's got two cold shoe mounts. If you're doing running gun shooting you can uh, put a light, put a mic. So personally, personally I like to use the Rode Video Mic Pro and I use it with the uh, Rode SC7, I believe it is, uh, adapter that's made for the iPhone because of the uh, the leads on here. You have a 3T, I think it's a TRRS. So this allows you to record into the phone. So you just plug it in, slide it onto the, uh, the cold shoe mount, tighten it up, and you're good to go. For apps, I use the recommended Filmic Pro. I've run around with this guy. I've uh, taken it with me. I've done some recordings. I've done some YouTube videos with it. Uh, this one I'm actually recording on my 5D Mark III so that I can do the review of the iographer for you. So uh, this is for anyone who uh, just wants to use their iPhone, doesn't want to carry a lot of gear. What led me to get this was I have an iPhone 6 Plus and um, I got this while I was living in Japan. Well, in Japan, they won't unlock your phones for you. So I was left pretty much with a large screen iPod touch. After I, I found the iographer, I decided this is perfect. I deleted everything off the phone and uh, backed it up. And now this is solely used for, um, for the iographer and recording so that my 6S Plus stays in my pocket. I use that for whatever. So to put the phone in, it's pretty straightforward. You slide the power button side in first, line it up, and then it just snaps into place. All right, so I already have Filmic Pro up and running. All right, so just right quick, I wanted to include some sample footage that I took at the 2016 Bahrain Air Show. So it's got two, two mounts on it. You have one here that a um, few people that have reviewed this say they're going to use it for periscope. I don't periscope. Um, and then you have a, uh, another one obviously where you can see that it's mounted here to the plate. So it's, it's, uh, it's a little flimsy. I would have liked it to have a little more structural integrity, not be as, uh, as flimsy. Um, but for, for the price and for what you get, it's not, it's not bad at all. It's a great, I wouldn't even say starter kit. It's, it's a great all around kit for anyone that wants to use their, their iPhones 
for uh, reviewing. I know they have the GoPro one that they just came out with, the iPad Air, the uh, or the full size, and then the, the mini size, I believe it is. So I'm probably gonna jump on the GoPro ones. I recommend this one. If you want something, something light that's not gonna take up a lot of space, quick and easy to use, and just because. I mean, it was a hundred bucks, um, and, and you'll get better videos. You'll, you know, you have more stability with uh, having the grips on the side here, but I don't know if you can, if the video shows it, but I mean, it's mounted on the tripod and I mean, it, it is a bit flimsy. I, I'll, I have to admit that it's, it's flimsy and uh, it's just, it's not that solid. It, there, there are some, uh, let me see, in each corner here, yeah, in each of these corners, there are little screws where everything is screwed together. So um, if those start coming loose, then this whole case is going to um, have less structural integrity. So since this case was made for the iPhone uh, 6 and 6S Plus, you, uh, this little hole here will accommodate the lightning cable. See how it just slides right through there? So that it stays out of your way if you're charging. Just plug it up and boom, cable's out the way. I like to use power banks when I'm uh, on the go. So I have this small mini one, just plug it up, boom, good to go. Uh, getting juice out of it. Now, the only thing about this this and, and, and this one is there's no mounts for it. There's nowhere to put it. So um, you're gonna have to have an extra long cable, something that's gonna fit in your pocket if, uh, if you're gonna have to be charging it, or you could just set it to the side. Now, that does not interfere with running the mic, like so. Okay, so now I wanna give you all a view of the two times telephoto lens. Oh, gotta take the back cover off. All right, now you can see through it. All right, so we're gonna put this on and you're gonna see the field of view All right, so take note of how close my arm and hand actually are to the camera and how much of that is on the screen. Look at my shoulder. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to the wide angle lens. So this one's a combo. It's the macro and the wide angle. So we're going to throw this bad boy on. All right, so same distance, but notice how you see much more of my torso, my full arm, and even some of my chin in that one. Uh, this is the macro. Uh, you're not going to see uh, the distance on this one. It, it's not what it's made for, so I'm going to do a close-up of the wide-angle lens. So that was too close. Uh, there, pulling back just a little bit, you can start to see the lettering, uh, and the focus was, was pretty on point. Well, it was getting there, I should say. It was still pretty out of focus. Turn it off. Put the lid back on when you're done. Call it a day. All right, so that's my review of the iographer. It's yours. Take it, keep it, or throw it in the trash, whatever you want to do. That's my take on this guy.